good morning children welcome back to our geography class in our last class part 1 industries we have discussed about different types of economic activities and classification of industries in that classification of industries we have discussed about the raw materials okay now at the end of today's class you'll be able to learn about the remaining classification of raw materials those are uh size based on size and based on ownership and also factors affecting the location of industries so let's go ahead industries based on size children industries which based on size children it refers to the amount of capital invested in that industry not only the capital in invested in that industry but also the number of people who are employed in that industry and also the volume of production it means the quantity of production which is produced in that industry so based on these three factors we can say the size of industry is smaller or larger or cottage industries okay so based on these factors children the industries are classified on of classified into three types those are small scale industries large scale industries cottage or household industries okay now let's discuss about the small scale industries children so small scale industries are the industries whose investment means the amount where they invest in that industry are lesser and the technology also minimum technology they use it and they produce smaller volume of products they produce smaller volume of products for example silk weaving industry and food processing industry are those examples of small scale industries now comes to large scale industries children large scale industries are those industries who use huge capital high capital or high investment and superior technology it means the most advanced technology they use okay because the capital is more and the technology also higher superior quality so example of these industries are automobile industries and heavy machinery etc okay now let's discuss the industries classification based on ownership based on the ownership children industries are mainly classified into four types those are private private sector industries public sector industries joint sector industries and cooperative sector industries now let's discuss about the private and public sector industries private sector industries children these are the industries which are owned by the private individuals private individuals or by a group of individuals okay for example tata iron and steel industry aditya birla industry those are the private people those are the industries which are run by the private individuals so such industries are called private sector industries now comes to public sector industries public sector industries are those industries which are owned and operated by the government only so such kind of industries are called public sector industries for example hindustan aeronautical limited sail sail you know steel authority of india limited so these are the examples of public sector industries now comes to joint sector industries joint sector industries are those which are owned and operated by the government and also individuals jointly so these are the industries which are owned and run by jointly by the private sector in the people individuals or and also by the government so such kind of industries are called joint sector industries for example maruti udyog limited is it's, it's a best example for what joint sector industries now comes to cooperative sector industries these are the industries which are owned and operated by the producers or suppliers either we can produce or we can supply the suppliers also can run these industries children sometimes workers also may run these industries sometimes both the suppliers and the workers also can run the industries cooperatively so such kind of industries are called cooperative sector industries the best example for this cooperative sector industries are anand milk udyog limited or union limited and sudha dairy 
these are the two successive successful cooperative ventures in the cooperative industries okay fine now let's go for the factors affecting the location of industries children children to locate an industry you need some factors Man these are mandatory for location of industry so what are those here you can see the factors of industries children those are availability of raw materials if there is no raw materials what you will produce and one more thing land also you need a particular place suitable place to produce the goods and you need water for processing labor for working power for running the industry capital for investment transport market etc so these are the factors which are helpful for location of industries children so actually usually where do these industries situated you know children near the uh, rural areas you know why rural areas are the most vulnerable areas it means the most uh, um, there is no growth in those areas so to develop the such areas usually the people establish the industries in the rural areas sometimes the government also provides some incentives like subsidized power to the industry for example industries consume lot of power no they need to pay lots of amount in the form of bill electricity bill that's why they give some subsidy subsidy means what you know concession for example if they consume 100 units they need not pay uh, full money cost for the 100 units okay they can pay they they'll reduce the amount on that cost likewise in the next lower con transport cost also another infrastructure they'll give some concession or subsidy so that's why industries that um, they may be located in the backward areas industrialization often leads to development and growth of towns and cities uh, for example they may establish the industries in rural areas only but ultimately as soon as you establish the industry in the rural areas urbanization follows because people start working uh, uh, coming from that place and working in that area uh, slowly hotels uh, slowly transportation banking everything develops so it leads to the development of that areas ultimately the rural areas only turns into what uh, towns and the towns into cities so in that way these are the most important factors which affecting the location of industry so that's all for today children thank you